gates are back and they're racing got away to a reasonable start empire blue first one to show here's acorn and also pushing forward last storm so three of them vie for the early lead now two as empire blue backed out so acorn and last storm are at each other's throats at the corner of the track empire blue now fourth getting passed on the outside by lord nelson just over length away to woodland ridge and ayafla jatakul has patiently ridden the back of the field about five to six lanes off the leader they work their way towards the top of the straight with just over 900 meters left to run and acorn picked up the lead saw off last storm who dropped into second then lord nelson there outside swings for home in third and racing about two and a half lanes off the leader empire blues towards the far side Here comes woodland ridge has been cajoled along and Aya Flajatakul is the back marker but still no more than five lanes off the leader as they head past the 600 meters mark and it's Acorn just allowed a little bit more leather got an extra length clear in second place Empire Blue last storm not much between them Aya Flajatakul made a run towards the far side quickly got towards the leaders further back Woodland Ridge Lord Nelson next best past the 300 Acorn now taken on by Aya Flajatakul then comes Empire Blue who's getting squeezed drops into third as Acorn takes a deep breath 150 out Aya Flajatakul, though, is getting very much alive. Acorn, Aya Flajatakul, Acorn showed all the tenacity in the world to hold off Aya Flajatakul. Then came Empire Blue and Lord Nelson was fourth. Bit of competition for the lead and a small field, perhaps unexpectedly so. But once he got to the lead, Muzi and he controlled it. And Aya Flajatakul now gets into the open towards the inside and quickly from last got into a share of second with Empire Blue who tried to match. And yeah, I have to call. Looked like he was going to, and he certainly didn't trouble Acorn. But Acorn just continued to give and give and give. This is where Empire Blue got a bit tight for room. Amazing how many times Yeni and Lorena are finding each other at the moment. It's uh, Yeni in this particular case, number three, Acorn, gets the bragging rights in race number three. Race, sorry, race number two. Race three on the card is the first leg of the pick six at 1.30. Fairview and Acorn from the Kelly Mitchley stable on paper was possibly the best bet on the card, waited to win and does just that with Muzi Yeni in the irons. With me is welcome and he's collecting the 1,500 Rand for Yandis. Very well done to Yandis, the groom of number three, Acorn. Welcome. Please tell him very well done and that is courtesy of World Sports Betting. Thank you. Take it with you. Let's go to Muzi Yeni. He's all smiles there in the corner. Grab the mic. There we go, Muzi. And we often, and the other presenters have been saying it, doesn't matter where you tune in, Muzi Yeni's there and interviewing, so things are going according to plan. On paper, you know ratings work, this horse was, was rated to win today. Muzi, well done. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, ideally, I thought I'd find a bit of cover and maybe the stable companions might be quicker. But he's a big boy and he's quite fast at the pin, so at the jump, <laughs> our plans from play A went to plan B and he had to just settle in front. But luckily it was a small field. I didn't have to work too hard to secure the lead. And I try to steady him as best as I can. He can look to tear away slightly, but he came back to me when I asked him to and I made a little bit of a sprint for home. Maybe that's why Jackal got mm. it. The gray horse got to him a bit close, but it was nice. It always felt in control. And uh, when he had to get his feet together, he did that quite well. So it was a good one. I just want to touch on you because I see on social media, on Facebook, um, often your, your rides and your comments for your rides throughout the country. I don't know who you do it with, but it's well received by the punters out there. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I write for the citizens, so if they're happy, I'm, I'm happy. All right, so that's so you write for the citizen and yes, they sir. post that? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So thanks to them and uh, to Stone Stamco for their big support. To Taryn and Brown, are not here. I thought they would be in the parade ring for a certainty, so <laughs> at least we can make them smiles from Joburg and obviously Mr. Fegan, big supporter of the yard. Thank you very much. All right, well done. Thank you. Let's go to Kelly Mitchell. She's going to come into the picture now quickly and chat. And um, yep, we see her every week here. And why not? Because things are going according to plan. And she's learning to know about a bit of pressure in this game because the more you achieve, the more people expect all the time. So that is part of inverted commas, growing up within the industry. You know that. You've been part of big stables before as well. Kelly, well done. Acorn, I know that you bought him um, online. He's a lovely individual. Um, is he easy to work with at home? Yeah, he's, he has his issues. Um, also, just 
before I start anything, mm. I want to say a huge thank you to Montana Turner for actually fixing him and getting him to the races oh, today wow. for us. Really put a lot of effort into him for us. I really appreciate that. And to have Brendan Fegan on course today, it's amazing to lead in his winner. And also to Brian and Taryn sitting in Joburg watching on TV. Well done to them. Tremendous. Now, Akon, obviously, he's got his little issues if you're working on it. I think there's a couple more wins still because he, he's always been touted as a horse with ability. Yeah, no, he just needs his TLC and... We all do. Race him sparingly. <laughs> He'll, he will have his wins. All right. Let's quickly just touch on... I want to touch on just two runners of yours. In race three, you've got two runners. Musi's on the one. A little bit of talk about Big Fella and possibly at a big, big price running into money. Well, um... Acorn galloped with Big Fella last week and he wasn't too far off. I mean, a maiden to stay off uh, okay. Merit Red at 89. And one of our other horses at the stable showed a really impressive gallop. And I think he should be a runner. If he brings his work to the course, I, at, I think he should win. At a big price? Yes. Oh, wow. And then in race six, you've got Fur Baby. I see on your, your WhatsApp group, um, it's got a bit of a chance as well. Not but, to be left out. Yeah, no, fair baby, I wouldn't leave her out at all. Um, she didn't enjoy her, the start on the poly. I would ignore that run completely. It is her second run for the yard. We have fitted the cheek pieces on, which has improved her at work. All right, tremendous. Well done to you. Thank you so much. And thanks to Aviation Lost to Justice, my sponsors. Thank you. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks so much. Brendan Fegan standing by. Yeah, we see him here all the time as well. And he's also part of the owners here, but nice to have... Mr. Fegan on course from Tsitsikama out here. I think you're doing a lot of kilometers up and down. Yeah, Neil, look, it's more St. Francis. I told oh, you that today. St. Francis, now. St. Francis yeah, yeah. now. Okay. We moved a bit closer. Okay. But uh, with Acorn to Kelly and to Carl, I must say the last two weeks has been exceptional. I've had a couple of winners. Horses are looking good. They're running accordingly. Um, it's, it's a huge thanks to them and their whole team, the grooms, everyone that puts the effort in. As Kelly said early on, Montana, I've got a lot of videos in the week with TLC and lights and massages. I mean, I almost booked myself in there. <laughs> um, but, but a huge thanks to her. Um, I think on Tuesday or Wednesday, we were considering not running him. Okay. And uh, it's actually amazing in, in a couple of days how Montana's turned him around. So huge thanks to her. To Muzzy, top ride. Um, nice, nice to get another winner for, for myself and for Brian. To Brian and Taryn, well done. Uh, I told them that uh, they should come down and, and lead, lead Acorn in. Um, so, yeah, but well done to them, to my wife, my kids, and to my dad, as always. Tremendous. Great one. Thank well you. Well said, Brendan. Thanks, Neil. Thank you. Brendan Fegan from the Kelly Mitchley Stable in the winner's box with Acorn. And you heard, ladies and gentlemen, takes a little bit of TLC, a bit of a massage, a little bit of heat and a rub. It works wonders.